president of Ship Owners Association of Nigeria has shed some light on how some foreign shipping companies deceive the government to get waiver by just presenting an application for waiver documents. Dr. Mark George Oyungwa is speaking exclusively to Lens on Maritime and Nigeria Maritime TV, explained how an application for waiver is actually misconstrued for a waiver by those who should. But like I said, it's a democracy, you know, and it is because the foreign ships are disobeying the laws of Nigeria that Nimasa is supposed to superintend. But after petitioning Nimasa, we had to go to the National Assembly. We went to the House of Senate and we went to the House of Representatives to petition, you know, on, on that matter. So if, if we, we, we have to, and as a matter of fact, it is not a fact that Nimasa, with the facts, are, are open. The factual thing is not that Nimasa has gone, given waivers. No waivers have been given. The Minister for uh, Petroleum, Petroleum the Minister for Transportation, Honorable um, uh, Ruti Miyamichi came to the National Assembly and told everybody that he did not issue any waivers. And even Nimasa's uh, uh, hierarchy have confirmed it openly that it is not the waiver, but the receipt of the payment for the waiver that is brandished as a waiver, and it is the lack of uh, understanding of government, other government parastatals, who when they see these waivers waved at them, they now give them the contracts and opportunities to work. It would be recalled that the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, dismissed allegations that it has been granting waivers to foreign shipping companies. The Swan president also called on the Minister of Transportation, Honorable Rotimia Mechi, and Nimasa to issue demand notice to all government parastatal, intimating them that issuance of a receipt for waiver is not the same as a waiver. So we have an industry that is regulated, but there is a problem in the sense that someone must take the responsibility to make sure that the law is implemented. So the book goes back to the, uh, to the Honorable Minister, the DG of the Masa, and the, the, the simple solution, we as Swan are not here to pick, um, to pick um, quarrels or pick um, uh, faults about any particular thing. We are here for solution because we are the benefactors of a well-regulated maritime industry. So the, we suggest to them that they should come up with a marine notice. And if the minister wants to issue waivers, it is his prerogative. Nobody, we don't have two ministers, we have one. He should make up his mind and say, I want to issue waivers. And of course there are conditions, precedent, towards anybody issuing a waiver.